everyone, I'm back with another video, which is one that I've actually filmed before, but I accidentally managed to delete the footage. That could be a blessing in disguise because I've actually now got a digital camera, whereas previously I was filming on my iPhone, so hopefully you can see a better quality um, in the videos that I'm making from now on. And what I want to do is my monthly collected haul, featuring everything I've bought this month. However, I'm going to do it a little bit differently this time because I've got quite a lot of things that I've purchased. So I'm going to style up eight different outfits, which should hopefully give you some inspiration for springtime slash British summertime and at the same time I can show you the outfits that I've bought this month. So without any more rambling I'll just get on with it. Outfit number one which I've styled up for you is kind of Northern Soul inspired so I've got my mod shoes tights on and my £2.50 vintage burgundy loafers with this Ben Sherman tank top which I've not actually showed yet. It's a nice deep purple colour but the item that I actually bought is from the charity shop and it's a Jaeger shirt so it's quite business casual but I really just thought that the purple would look nice with this purple tank top and I can show you close up the pattern on the shirt as well but this is outfit number one. The next item is another shirt which I got from my work. I work in a vintage shop but this one's quite different because it's actually like cotton. It's more of a polo shirt material but it's got the lovely big dagger collar and I think that it's just an absolute match made in heaven with this mod father tank top which I did feature in a haul on my channel a couple of weeks ago so I can try and link that for you and I just paired it with the same loafers and just some simple black trousers and this is just one of those outfits where you look really put together but you just kind of feel like yourself as well because it's pretty simple and um, not too much effort but maximum effect. My next outfit features the Armani blazer which I spoke about in last week's video which was my favourite things that I bought from a charity shop. So I got this from a charity shop in Harrogate and it was just £8 and like I mentioned it is Armani so that makes it really special and I've just paired it with a real Hoxton shirt and a real tonic skirt and then my fishnet tights and my monkey boots to make it a bit more fun instead of like a smart look but I also like the way that this looks buttoned up too because it's got such a lovely shape so I feel like the shape of it is like a tonic suit style blazer so yeah I think it just looks really nice and sophisticated and it was literally eight pounds. <laughs> My next outfit features actually two new items that I bought this month so first of all is this beautiful mod inspired dress which I got from the charity shop I think it was 12 pounds so that's more than I'd usually spend on something in the charity shop but it fits really nicely as you can see and it's just quite fun and mod and I've paired it with my Dr. Martin sandals and this bright yellow shirt which I've got from Upset Clothing and it's such a nice summery look if you add the sunglasses as well it just makes a really nice sort of 60s inspired look and speaking of 60s I also got this handbag from Space Retro or Space Vintage I think it might be called from Harrogate when I went charity shop shopping uh, on the trip that I actually bought that Armani blazer and the yellow and orange in this looks really nice with the shirt as well so I'll give you a closer look of that this beautiful 60s inspired print so all together I think it makes such a beautiful look. The next item is an absolute personal favourite of mine it's also from Space Vintage in Harrogate and it's this beautiful 1970s vintage blazer jacket I'm not really sure what it is but it's just this gorgeous like lime green colour and it's got contrast orange stitching with orange buttons as well. This was a bit of a splurge, it was actually £50 but for a vintage item that's in such good condition I really couldn't argue with that price especially after I tried it on and saw how, how well it fit me and this colour is just everything. Here's a close up so I can show you the colour and the stitching, it's just amazing and I paired it with this £2 charity shop bag just to bring down the cost of the outfit a little bit more and this Yegi garment orange dress which just complements the, the orange stitching like I said and yeah I think that this one has to be my favourite of the whole haul. <laughs> Moving on to a more punk inspired outfit now it's another item that it's vintage and just as soon as I put it on it fit perfectly and it's these tartan trousers they're from my work which is Blue Rinse the vintage shop in Leeds and they're just a red tartan which is so me um, as this punk inspired look I've put them of course with my Solivare boots and this t-shirt from Oi Oi the shop and yeah this fit of these trousers is just everything like from the back they just fit so good and yeah they make me feel really powerful in them and that is why obviously I bought them and featured them in this haul 
Here's an outfit consisting of a few different items that I bought this month and you may recognise it if you watch my Get Ready With Me for the Great Escape Festival because this is pretty much an exact copy of what I wore. So first new item is from my work again and it's this vintage blazer. It's more of like a real lightweight material so it's great for warm days or sort of windy warmer days which we get a lot here in the UK. And I teamed it with this charity shop skirt which is from Marks and Spencers originally but yeah I got it from the charity shop for five pounds and it still had the tags on so that's great it was a new item from the charity shop and I've taken quite a liking to wearing silk scarves as well which I got from my work and it's sort of like a silk cravat sc style scarf in this baby pink with bur burgundy paisley print on it and I also picked up this other scarf as well which is a paisley print too but it's more of a bright colour and it looks great with that grey jacket that I showed you earlier so yeah this is the second to last outfit and it's probably one of my favourites it definitely is up there my final outfit is excitedly made up of everything brand new items so first of all from the bottom I've got my purple Dot Martens boots which were given to me as part of some work that I did for them on TikTok so you can go on either my own TikTok which is Go Ask Ellis or Dr Martin's TikTok and you can see even more ways of how I styled these up and probably my newest purchase is these checkerboard jeans which I actually managed to find in the charity shop which is just amazing and I think they were £12 which again a little bit expensive for a charity shop but they actually do look just as good as new so I think that they've not actually ever been worn and again they fit me quite nicely I like the way that they fit they are a little bit short but you can just see my boots in them now so that's actually quite nice and this vest top that I'm wearing I bought at a gig when I went to see Amal and the Sniffers this weekend but the support was Jeffrey Oycott who I have seen before but I never picked up any merch then so I thought that I'd pick up this vest because you don't really see often bands bringing out vests as merch. It's a size large so it's a little bit big but I think that if I could just put a little bit of a stitch in the in the straps then it'll probably fit me a little bit better but what I like about it is that you can see my tattoo at the back because I have I literally went through the effort of getting that tattoo and you can never really see it in anything that I wear so when the summertime comes and the warm weather comes I can finally show off my tattoo which I got from Lily Moon and that is my final outfit. Let me know which one was your favourite. I'm finishing up the video in the final look because I forgot to film an intro before I started styling up these outfits but let me know which one your favourite was and thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to my video so that I can make some more and give this one a like. I'll see you again in my next one. Bye!